listening, fellow members and guests. I'm going to be new to the Central. This is the second time Project 2 tonight for myself. First of all, I would like to show you a picture. This is a five-year-old kid. So can you make a guess how much weight he has? 300? 300? 300 pounds, you mean, right? Okay. 300 pounds. <laughs> another guess? Oh, you got it. So it's 170, 170, which is obviously overweight. I'm um, now telling you another example is an Indian girl, which I don't have to pick this, but also a five year old, but 200 pounds. Mm. That means, that means we are. Uh, actually facing a tendency of obesity and also a dramatic increase <coughs> of weight for children and adults also. That Indian, that Indian kid, I can tell you, she needs to take 20 bowls of rice today, uh, every day, 25 bananas, five fishes, and seven, uh, seven potatoes. That means her family needs to spend all the money to buy the food for the kids, for the girls. So it's quite terrible. Why do we get fat? Because of balance. The intake and the output. The more we move around, the fuel we can burn, the more intake, the less activity, the fuel left in our body and it becomes fat, stored in our blood. Any environmental factor or excuses leading us to be fat? Of course, there are a lot, right? Because of our work, um, de uh, depression, then we will have overeating. Most of the time now we always sit in front of the computer screen, <coughs> we don't have exercise, irregular meal time, and large variety of high dense food and sugary drinks available for us. High dense food means not enough fiber, but very high energy. Obviously, overweight will harm our health in the way that it increases um, chance of getting hypertension, heart disease, stroke, or even cancers. Arthritis, pain in the lower back are also very common. So I am going to show you another picture. Well, actually it's a game. Can anyone tell me? Can anyone tell me in a fillet of fish how many teaspoons of oil is in it? Can you make a guess? One, two, or three? Three. 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 Okay. Oops. More than you can guess. It's five. <laughs> <laughs> so the second one. Okay, French fries. How many teaspoons of oil? Yeah. You can guess? Ten. Yeah. Ten? Fifteen. <laughs> wow, let me see. It's only four. Oh. It's <laughs> and it's soft drinks. How many teaspoons of sugar? Three. Twenty. Twenty. <laughs> then did you drink any uh, soft drink today? Two spoons. Two spoons. Okay, the last one. Okay, milkshake. Can you guess how many teaspoons of sugar? Five. 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 A lot. <laughs> oh, you're right. Got it right again. It's ten teaspoons of sugar. Wow. How many of How many of you have taken all this food in your lunch today? No. 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 Oh, no. oh you're so smart. <laughs> so, so you can guess how much sugar or how much oil you eat every day throughout all the food of different varieties every day. So, 
I guess you are most concerned is to how to prevent the excess weight gain. There are a lot of suggestions. But of course, you, you will tell me exercise, right? But most of you will tell me you don't have time to do exercise, <laughs> correct? Okay, how many of you agree with me putting on one kilo is very easy? Okay, thank you. And then how many of you agree with me losing the extra kilo is so difficult? You all agree, right? Okay, here are some suggestions. Be active. That means do more exercise. <laughs> well, move around, walk around, and such as just now I should raise your hand, raise here and there, is at least a bit of exercise that even you sit here. At least 30 minutes or even 20 to 30 minutes moderate physical activity on each day and be consistent. Okay. And then be smart. I know you are all here smart, but eat smart. How to eat smart? <coughs> Eat moderate in sizes, in a quantity, except those green, yellow, orange vegetables are exceptional. And then change your eating behavior. That means taking out the habits of getting junk food, eat plenty of fruits and vegetables, because they are rich in nutrients, rich in fiber, rich in water, and also they protect against aging and lower the risk of cancers. Mm -hmm. And also the cooking method mm -hmm. is the number three suggestion. Uh, like to boil, steam, bake. Then another one is to minimize your temptation <coughs> of getting or eating food. Like do not, empty, uh, do not empty your stomach to go into any food store or supermarket. I've tried that. When you finish your dinner, afterwards you go to the supermarket. Actually, before that, you want to buy everything back home, but because your stomach <coughs> is full, and then you tell yourself, oh, I don't need that right now, so you don't want to buy it. And also, small, use small dish to eat, small dish to limit your quantity. Then also put high fat dish far away from you. Put low fat dish in front of you. When you go out for dinner with your friend or with your family, if you put those things that like meat far away from you, so it's so difficult for you to get it, right? And then you will feel embarrassed if you stand up to get it. And also, Eat slowly, chew slowly. Please count 12 times when the stuff is in your mouth. Finish tw counting 12 times and then you take another bit. So it works, it works. Overall, it does not matter on what time you eat, but it does matter on these three symbols. Remember, fat, okay? Mm -hmm. The frequency, how often you do the physical activity. A, A is amount, is how much you eat. And then T is the type, what you eat. Fat, remember. So, remember, start from tonight. Thank you. Mm -hmm.